starting now. Um, over to you, Rodis or Arun. Okay, great. So good morning, everyone. I hope uh, you all had a restful night and are ready to tackle the final day of our assessment week. So I'm eager to hear about your experience so far. Uh, how has your experience uh, been this week? Any challenges, breakthroughs, or uh, just exciting moments uh, you'd like to share? So yeah, so who would like to kick things off? Uh, so Rodas, feel can free I just ask, that we have one thing, maybe if everyone can also, uh, hi everyone, good morning. Uh, it'd be great to hear from everyone if they could just uh, share appreciation with anyone else in the community who was helpful to them this week. So if we can yeah. add that, because I know there's okay. been a lot of helpful people. So just add that, thanks. Yes, great. Okay. So yeah, who would like to, so feel free to take the floor. Uh, you can write it in the comment section or you can just uh, also speak up. Okay, so Abdulrahman is saying good morning. Good morning to you. Okay. Anyone? Anyone who would like to speak? Uh, good morning. Okay, good morning, uh, Joseph. Good morning, brothers. Good morning to you. Uh, yeah, so I want to give a big shout out to... Um, Abba Michu, Thomas, uh, Dokas, uh, Carol, um, and MT Nam Osma. Uh, they've oh. all been a big help uh, in my journey uh, so far. Yeah, so uh, big shout out to them. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Joseph. Uh, Abba Michu, Dorcas, uh, MT Nan, uh, we appreciate you. Anyone else who would like to go? Okay, Yasu is saying yesterday and today was better. I made a progress. I want to thank Mikias. So, yes, Mikias. Kerod, Kerod was very helpful. Arun is saying Kerod, uh, sleep is also work. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, yes. So, Dorcas is saying appreciation to Biniam, Joseph, uh, Mora, and Ikram. Okay, thanks for your help. Okay, thank you. Uh, who else wants to go? Are we going to have to just start calling on people? Or let's just call people and ask them to pick the next one then. Okay, okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. So, uh, let's start with the woman. Uh, Kulani, you can go. You can speak up. You can just say a few words or, yeah. Okay, hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can clearly hear you. Okay, so it was a bit challenging, but uh, I think I managed to do uh, three of the tasks very well. But the first one, I think I'm lagging a bit and I'll finish it by today and submit it as well. Okay, great. Uh, make sure to pick the next person. So, yes. Let, let us know who, do, who you would like to pick. Kulani. Um, okay, Aaron, I guess. Okay, Aaron, you can speak. <laughs> Good one. Um, okay, so I'm really, I think this was our uh, best week zero ever. I was really happy. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I, I think she, did you say Arun or Oh, Arun? sorry, wrong one. Okay, no, <laughs> yeah. we'll go to Aaron. Okay. Okay, maybe you, you can just call in Arun. <laughs> I think Arun doesn't want to speak today. He has such a nice picture, though. Okay. 
Okay, I'll go and then I'll call on Aaron next. Uh, okay, so I am. I think it was a great week. Uh, really happy to see how the community started to come together. It's a, you know, it's it's a little bit. Uh, there's a little bit of magic that has to happen, and uh, so Aaron says his mic's not working, so he can type. Um, but there's a bit of magic that has to happen, and we're really. I was really happy to see the magic come together. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Uh, it did happen this time, and so I think we're already on track to have a really good batch. So I'm thankful to each of you for showing up to learn and putting in your best effort and bearing with us as we work through some of the issues. But also, uh, you know, one of the things that's most important to us is that we have a group of people who are enthusiastic uh, to make a difference in themselves, to learn. So I'm really grateful for that and grateful for the efforts of the team. The team is super new. Um, we're in permanent beta and the team is, uh, I think it's done a really good job. So yeah, lots of people that we're grateful for. I'm going to pick, uh, who am I going to pick next? I am going to pick, uh, who's showing up here? Rudolf, Rudolf. Okay. Hello everyone. I hope you're fine. Uh, sorry if my background is a little bit noisy. Uh, okay, so first of all, uh, I thank uh, the the teams, the teams of uh, thanks for giving us uh, this opportunity. This week was very tough, very challenging, and sometimes I'm I was asking myself if it is really me because I can see the limit of my my knowledge in in uh, um, ML and. Uh, let me say in computers, in computer engineering, basically. So uh, I think also my colleagues uh, with whom I work with and those who help me, those who request help to me and I, I was able to help also. So just I'm just grateful and I hope the, the next day we'll do better than that and gain more from that experience. Thank you. Make sure to pick someone else, Rudolf. Rudolf. Hello, I hope you hear me what I was saying. D you didn't pick the next person who, who would want to go. Ah, okay, I should pick yeah. one. Okay, yes. Yvonne. Yvonne Jimmy. I don't know if I pronounce very okay. well. Jimmy. Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's okay. okay. Okay, so thank you. Uh, I really appreciate the team for what they are doing. Uh, this week has been a bit challenging for me. I have gotten to learn a lot also. I had a bug and yesterday I was successful in solving it and that was my first breakthrough and I am very happy for that. I want to appreciate all the people who helped me, including Carol and Mikias. And I'll pick Mikias next to speak. Yes, thank you. Okay. Mm, thank you. Uh, can you hear me, guys? Yes, we can clearly hear you. Okay, to summarize this week, I would like to express it with a movie scene from Captain America, which says, I can do this all day. <laughs> so <laughs> the task has been challenging, but one thing that I have learned is not giving up is a very good skill. You should never give up, even though you fail so many times. So coming to yesterday's task, I was able to implement yesterday's tasks very good. I didn't have any bugs and I was able to help someone uh, from the team, I mean from the cohort. So it was good. Uh, I'm, uh, today I'm going to be working on the document. I had received some comments on changing the world idea. So I'll be implementing that and I will be doing other tasks as well. So I should pick the next person, right? Yes, yes. Thank you so, so much for the explanation, yeah. No problem. Uh, okay, let me just choose. Um, 
I'm gonna go with Macbeth Mosfet. Hello, everyone. Good morning, Magdes. So I think there uh, there are uh, a lot of people to give acknowledge for. So it, I better not to mention them, but they know themselves. They help me a lot and they support me through all the projects that I have done so far. So and. The next one should be, I think, Joseph. Oh, Joseph went first. So you need to pick uh, someone else. Can you pick someone else, Magdas? Or do you want Joseph to go uh, twice? Okay, I'm going with... As, uh, like, Meron Moji. Okay, Meron. You can also type it in the comment section if you don't want to speak up. Okay, she's saying uh, she's in the library, so help us pick the next person, Miron. Okay, she wants Abel to go next. Abel, can you speak up? Uh, so there is two of us, I guess. Yeah, you can go Abel and Abel, I guess. All right, so I'll make sure I'm going to pick you next. So uh, the things uh, that I faced throughout this project was uh, understanding the mistakes I made throughout the process. For example, if I've done a certain task and review it after a day or two, I'll find bugs and I will not be satisfied with the work that I have done. So uh, uh, given the project is demanding, the problem I was having was uh, deciding whether I have to fix those type of books or uh, line it to the goal that I want it to be, or uh, showcasing what I have already done. So uh, the project has been uh, balancing those type of issues. And that's all I have to say. It was great. Uh, everybody was uh, excited, uh, as I was, and it was a great experience. So you can go. Thank you. Hi, guys. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, so to talk about my week. Uh, so it was like um, similar to what everyone else said. It was quite hectic. Um, there was, um, like a, I was very overwhelmed with the tasks. Um, 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 I guess one thing that I that I learned is um, I uh, I got stuck on some of the tasks and spent a lot of time on them when I could have like um, um, skipped some tasks and like um, done other or the other tasks that I could have done earlier um, that could have been more effective. Um, that's something that I can like um, reflect on. Um, other than that, I'm um, the the community at um, Ten Academy, the the, ten, the Tenx team, and also the 
the trainees as well. Um, everyone is being helpful and uh, that's nice to see. Uh, I hope we can um, continue this to the next weeks as well um, to, to um, nominate the next speaker. Um, I want to, I want to, I want to mention Aman, Amanuel, Amanuel A. All right. Hey guys, good morning. Um, this week, this week it was uh, a bit of challenging. I was having a really hard time at the start, especially on one day on Tuesday, but uh, afterwards, I somehow managed. Uh, I asked for help. Uh, I'd like to give uh, a huge shout out to Emtinan. Uh, he, he, I, I'm not sure if he's a male or female, but he was the one I would go to to ask questions uh, in midnight. And yeah, it was a really good time. Uh, by today, I would, I believe, I would be in sync with all the tasks, and I'm really happy for it. Thank you very much. So maybe Yuel uh, is raising his hand, so he might be the next person. Oh, thank you, Mtina. Yuel, you can go. Uh, so, uh, Yuel here. Uh, so my, I'm, I'm going to try and talk about the whole week. Uh, it's been a very, very challenging week. Uh, Yababa was saying it's going to be an overwhelming week and to expect overwhelm, but I, can, I couldn't have uh, expected this much over, uh, uh, being this much overwhelmed. Um, so I took a very deep dive into the whole course and I don't think I've ever learned this much stuff in a week in my life. I think we can all say that it's been a very uh, challenging week. Uh, I stayed up, I stayed up all night most of the nights, so I I put in a lot of the work, and also I figured out and learned very, very wide uh, topics and uh, a lot of knowledge. And on my journey, I uh, I found some friends on Slack and on these uh, Google me meetings. And I've reached out to them to learn new things. And when I got stuck, so I would like to thank a few of them uh, right here. Uh, one of them is uh, Bini Amadjal. Yesterday, he was saying his whole uh, project crashed and he was getting back up. And I really wish them to get back on track as soon as possible because he was very much helpful and he was replying to all my texts. Uh, uh, and stuff, he was very helpful. And also, I would like to thank Abe and also Abe Yuandumu. And yeah, so uh, I wish uh, we, I wish everybody was uh, as responsive as them. So thank you to them. And uh, yeah, I've, I've learned a lot. I wish that I would be picked for the whole course to continue my learning and dive deeper into this uh industry so yeah uh thank you and uh, that's it for me okay great so uh anyone else who wants to go or you can also write it in the uh, comment section so yeah uh so I'm here to tell you that if you can make it uh, through week zero, you can absolutely survive in our intensive training program since there will be uh, more learning and uh, less submissions uh, compared to week zero. So, uh, okay, Aaron is raising his hand. I think he can speak now. Okay, great. You can go on, Aaron. My week is a bit challenging, but I, I struggled with the benefit. But that is easy, difficult to interpret and understand, but I'm trying to understand it, but I'm not really realized it yet. However, I've come to the realization that I can pursue this more than this analysis. After that, I will... Uh, Sorry, Aaron, there's a background noise. 
Can you speak louder or get some closer to the microphone? Can you speak now? We couldn't hear you. There was a background noise. Oh, I was on mute. Uh, Mubarak, you can go on now. Hello, guys. Good morning, Mubarak. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, Abel Bakta, Ms. Gabriel and Nasra Hassan, for their help. And uh, most I can achieve almost all the times and trying to deploy the dashboard too uh, and uh, one thing what what uh, one thing i remember of this program is there is uh, some sound for me too i don't want i don't want a piece i want problems that, that remembers me this challenge and they are helpful to show is what can i achieve within a week and thank you for all the challenges okay great so uh if you'd like to add more comments or feedbacks on the trading yeah yeah but one you can go on hi everyone thanks thanks i think it was a really good honest feeling that I was hearing. So I think, yeah, it's like, you know, um, now it's not Monday, it's Friday. And there's still some work to do and some tutorials still. But by now, you, you know, you, you have now witnessed what it is. It's hard and, and it's, we admit it from the beginning. It's not going to be easy. And it's also not the usual way, but at the same time, definitely, you know, our role is not, um, I think, as I said on Monday, our role is to make sure that you are prepared for a global level job. And that means it's not just only skill, but also dealing with yourself. You know, it's both the physical, mental, and as well as um, any soul search in, in that endeavor, because you're going to be meeting lots of people, lots of demand. And you are going to have time where things are easy and flowing and times that are actually really, really stressful that you don't sleep for a couple of weeks uh, because you have to deliver because you know, the client requires a product out before the day or you are late. Um, so, you know, these things happen, right? So it doesn't happen all the time. You know, there's life, there's work, but it's important for us that you go through that process and we know who is actually gonna deal with it like it's not really dealing with the skill sometimes people highly skilled might drop out early because they may think it's like okay you know it's like they they wanted to do something good but they can't do good because they are overwhelmed right that is where dealing with yourself comes like it's uh, week zero is probably the the best time i mean other weeks are still challenging but week zero is much more dealing with yourself dealing with strategy like you know how do you how do you nourish yourself in when you don't have time even to nourish right so it's it's that hopefully that that was a good experience and and most of you have learned you know got the best out of it so i think let me stop there and i think you will see me also during the tutorial um that we go through just the dockerizing and deployment part uh, the first part uh, on cloud and and dockerization and github actions 
but you can ask me any question as well if you have. Okay, uh, Nasrallah. Yeah, um, it's actually not more of a question. Um, it, it's more of uh, how do we feel today um, or this whole week? I guess we actually, or the way I feel it is that I lost more hair than usual. That's one fact. Um, but uh, uh, overall, even though I'm not able, always, I'm not going to be able to finish all the tasks, but I guess uh, it's a good way of surviving and, and, and try, at least we try our best. Um, and and uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's, 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 a bit, it's a bit hard, honestly, and a harsh week, more of a breakdowns, emotions and anxieties here and there, but it's a good way for us to survive, I believe so, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I can feel you. I mean, I think it's, it's exactly that right it's it's i mean that i admit from the beginning it's not gonna be you know if you give me the same thing i would go through the same process right and i might you know of course experience helps and that's what you know but it's not easy even for somebody who's experienced it as well that it's a lot of work just dealing with it is a lot of work but it's about exactly that and that's why it's not learning here. You know, all the time I think Arun remembers. I always want to put this one in three months. There isn't much learning. There's only a mindset shift. So if we help, anything we help you is the mindset shift. And another, you know, I have my own challenge for myself. Every year I have to come up for me and explain what actually we are doing in Hen Academy. And this year's my understanding or my, you know, uh, year, explanation to myself is that we are actually connecting you to your future self you know we're not your teacher you know we are just you you're the best teacher you can have is yourself but successful right so if you think of yourself in one year doing the same work in one week when you are in monday and yourself on friday is a successful version of you so how can we best connect you to that self right so all our effort is mm -hmm. we know you have it we know it will be there and it's just connecting that like your current self with your successful version of yourself because that successful version of yourself the more you know who that person is and its property then you will be able to you know it will be able to guide you across not only three months but across years you know progress toward you know towards your own future of you know career so that's why it's about exactly that um, and repeatedly when you find yourself successful then you you know then after that it's a generalization you will generalize um, so us are that facilitator to connect you with your successful version of you yeah, so, I, yeah. I honestly like how you make it very soft but if we make it also and uh, this is the way i saw it it's just like We've been thrown into saga while not being trained on how to carry on. <laughs> but it's a wonderful experience. At least we survived. That's that's the only way to say that. Great. Glad to hear that. Okay, there was one other hand. Is that was there another hand? Any reflection, question? Brooke, Brooke, you may proceed. Okay, uh, thank you guys. So I just want to say that uh, this week presented its challenges, uh, but mentors, especially mentors, uh, your your insightful lectures provided clarity, and it also eased the, the difficulties. The community here is also amazing. So I genuinely appreciate the opportunity to learn from you guys and for the valuable experience it, uh, it brought. Uh, and also want to express my, my gratitude to Tennis Academy. So I'm just saying that I'm thankful for the chance and I'm looking forward to, to, to engage more. Thank you. Ah, great. Thanks. 
And you know, I think another way of putting it is that almost always people that are bonded through certain challenges, a real challenge, not just faked challenge, usually they bond because they know what it takes. So normally community tends to become open because without collaboration, these things doesn't work. So I'm glad that everyone found the community useful in reaching. Yeah, so I think then uh, if there are not any questions to me, I hope that this was a very, you know, very enriching experience, whether you are in or uh, um, whether, you know, you are pro you're continuing to other, other journeys, you might, we might again see you probably in next batches. Like sometimes we say it, it might not be this, this batch you might, you, you may join, but you, it may be the next one. And we are expanding, we are scaling. So that means we are having more and more uh, opportunities in different programs. So there will be other programs as well, just you know, in parallel with this. We have the university to job that's coming and, and others. So there are more opportunities because I think our existence depends on providing more opportunities to more, like, right? So basically to people who deserve, to people who are talented and who needs to have a decent job so that they can actually live comfortably but contribute to the world. I think Africa's voice can only be heard by talented people doing the best they can do without going through, you know, shorter cuts to survive. And our real sole existence is on that. So uh, hopefully that, that, that means like everyone will learn from this as well as from the, our future um, parts as well, uh, other programs. Was there another hand? Uh, if not, just then I will hand over also to the rest. Okay, great. So we are only 20 minutes away from our first session and uh, our leaderboard will be uh, available today, possibly uh, until uh, 10 a.m. UTC. And uh, we will also announce your uh, status if you pass or fail to week one uh definitely on monday so yes you will be receiving emails so i think yes uh this is all for today thank you all for joining uh yeah we can wrap up this session just just one one minor minor word correction in a way that because it's a common thing to say pass and fail uh, and it's a word but there's no fail like I think we we never really think there is a fail. If you make you know, I think you know it by yourself by now. You have learned something, whether you because we have only just a, you know a small number of spots, that's budget and scale and you know, resource. So we only accept some certain uh, number. But what there is no fail. There is only just like next time as well as that you have actually gained. So that's the, I mean, from the beginning in the challenge document, it's really put in bold. It's a win-win. Whether you are in or out, that basically means that you have learned something, you have gained something that would be valuable wherever you're going, uh, or also for your, the future batch or for the future cohort or for the parallel cohort uh, that we will have. So I think, you know, uh, that mentality is that we never planned and wanted to make anyone fail and that would have been that so it's just a wording just we have to say it sometimes but it's in a way there is no fail there's only either you know going to the next discord or to the next court or you know benefiting from the challenge and the experience to your work so just wanted to make it uh, a little loud one I, I also just wanted to add one thing i think monday uh is overly ambitious i don't think we'll make monday so I think it's going to take us, including interviews, next week. So I think we'll be, and Rodas, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we'll release the leaderboard early next week, but uh, inter after that, we're going to invite, uh, depending on performance, people to interviews. And it's only after the interviews that uh, we can proceed. OK, great. We will just announce uh, the exact date on the Slack channel. So, yes. And Kulani has a question. Okay. Uh, 
school learning. Should we complete all tasks? Can we submit and complete assignments? It's better than nothing. Uh, yes. Uh, well, I've said it before. Uh, late submission is better than no submission. And it's better if you just submit uh, incomplete uh, projects uh, instead of submitting nothing at all. So yes, uh, please do submit. Uh, yeah. I think that's all for today. Do you have anything else to add, Arun uh, Yavi? If not, we can just uh, wrap up this session. We're just 20 minutes away from our first tutorial. Maybe the, the only point that I'll make is that we have still have 20% of the training happening today. So even if it's sort of a last stand up, it's actually, there's still 20% left. So today should be right till the end. Love to see uh, people putting their effort in. And uh, I don't think anyone should be nervous. Uh, I think the people who put the work in, they know how much work they put in. And we're really going to gauge work ethic, helping others, and uh, yeah, this uh, people figuring stuff out. Thanks. See you in the tutorial. OK, great. Thank you, everyone. Uh, have a good day. <laughs>